AdCAD provides a set of commands for the dimensioning of the drawing. One of these commands inserts dimension symbols inside the rooms. In the dialog, we set the distance of the symbols from the wall, the number of decimal digits for the dimension text, and choose the type of symbol. We are prompted for a point inside the room. And here are the symbols that indicate the size of the wall. You can easily delete some dimensions if they're in excess. Let's use the command once again. We now consider the presence of the openings and change the symbol type. We see that in this case the distance of the window is also dimensioned. Let's now see the dimensioning of the plan view of the exterior of the building. As you can see you can choose the orientation of the dimension line and the dimension style. You can also choose how you want to proceed by selecting the walls to be dimensioned or by the intersection of the drawing elements. Let's try the first method. In this case you need to indicate the point for the dimension line and the first and last walls of an entire side. We can then see the chain of dimensions generated. Finally, we're asked whether to add the total dimension of the side. Another command lets you dimension the inner walls of the rooms. Also in this case we choose the style of dimensioning which may be different from the previous command. We then specify a point inside the room, possibly close to the wall we want to dimension. We then draw the overall dimension. As you can see the command can continue to dimension the other walls, but we are now going to see another command that allows you to dimension by simply selecting vertices. In this case we are asked to indicate the angle of the dimension line, but first we want to control the dimension layer and style. We then indicate the angle with two points. Note that the command also allows you to specify the angle by selecting a reference line. Finally, we select a number of vertices at will. There is no need to select these vertices in an orderly manner. The program correctly processes them for you. This time, we don't generate the total dimension, so we reply no. Another command allows you to dimension the elevations. You specify an origin point and a reference value for that point and this command automatically inserts a symbol where the dimension represents the value in Z with referred to that origin. In our example we have set 0 as the reference value. We now see how our drawing adapts to the scale factor within which we want to print it. Note the size of the texts and the details of the window in the plan view. The scale F command allows you to associate a whole series of values such as height of texts, size of symbols, size of dimensions, etc. to a scale factor chosen from the list in the upper left. Not only, if you change the scale factor or its size and select the checkboxes on the sides, the size of the objects in the drawing are updated. So if you don't select the checkboxes, the changes will be valid only for the subsequent drawing operations. Let's use a scale F command once again and this time we choose to change the representation of objects in addition to selecting all checkboxes. The drawing will be fully updated and furthermore we see how the representation of the doors and windows has been greatly simplified. This is because with a scale printing factor of 100 some details would not be visible neither.